respect Ben Affleck to not only write, direct, but also to star. That's the best barbecue that I've had since I left the States. See that beautiful blonde staring out the window? That's my wife, Jillian. She's been through an awful lot the last few years. You have to let them know I didn't mean for it to happen. Well, I'm slicing my partner, start killing a few dozen homeless people. Which one? Take your pick. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Sit Out Talks Film. This week, we go to the movies and catch the stop motion comedy drama Animalista and recommend the film of the week. But before we do anything, let's see what else is on the Red Hen Network. Taxi! Alrighty guys, so, you know what, it seems like it's been forever since we've done one of these. It's been about, I say, Sid, how long has it been? About three okay. weeks? It's been about three weeks now, and I gotta say, I really have missed doing this, and I hope you guys have missed us too. But today we're over in Soho, and just behind me is a little place called Herman Z. German. And we're gonna head in here. I brought words and schnitzel. We're gonna head in here, see what they have, and as soon as we figure out, as always, as soon as we figure out what we want to eat, we'll be right back with you. That's something. I mean, gotta give credit to Charlie Kaufman. Only he could sort of. <laughs> make a movie that is different from the rest so I can't wait to sit back down and get on with this review and, uh, hey guys welcome back let's get right to the review Animalisa directed by Charlie Kaufman and Duke Johnson tells a story of an author voiced by David Thewlis who feels detached from his mundane life until he meets a unique woman voiced by Jennifer Jason Lee. What is it to be human? Animalis's use, almost real puppetry, reflects a sense of human imperfections and a sense of uniformity, all of which is brought to life by the humour and awkward interactions, something of which could only be conjured inside the mind of Charlie Kaufman, which is why Anna Malisa gets a big Sid Seal of approval. Each person you speak to has had a childhood. Each has a body. Each body has eggs. So we're just about wrapped up. A film you guys have to check out this week is the 1989 Studio Ghibli film, My Neighbor Totoro, directed by Hayao Miyazaki. This film tells the story of two young daughters of a professor and their interactions with friendly woodland spirits in post-war rural Japan. Check it out for its beautifully crafted expression of magical realism. Hope you guys like it. Before we go, let's see what else you can catch on the Red Hen Network. Hello, you've reached Gillian Lowick's voicemail. If you'd like to leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, bye-bye. You gonna talk to me? Jelly, can you call me? Give me a call when you get this message. This is not me messing around anymore. I'm starting to get worried. You haven't picked up on any of the calls that I've left you. You, you haven't even sent a text message. Is it that difficult to send me a text message? I mean, come on. Treat me like a piece of shit. Just, just call me when you get, you know, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna stay in. I'm going to stay in. I'm going to wait for you to come home. Wow, that was amazing. I'm afraid that's all the time we have for this week. But thanks for watching and join me next week for more Siddharth Talks Film. This is bullshit. Look, Brian, there was nothing I could do. Look, I'll give you some time to clear your desk. Yeah, no, I'm going to be a little late. Trains were delayed and stuff, so... Yeah. Plus, I, I stay behind and help Paul with a few things, so... I'll be home.
You, you need me to pick anything up? Okay. Bye. You remember how six months ago she asked how my day was? Well, now you know. Oh look, she's written us another list. Take bins out, wash dishes, laundry, Today is going to be a wonderful day, Brian. I can feel it. This is how the day started. Wait, is that the alarm? Jillian. Grabbed you? Yeah. What, you let him grab you? What are you, weak? Must be. But you're okay though, yeah? great I'm, I'm, I'm glad I've, I've really worked out on this one yeah. but it was a very simple kind of um, uh, breakdown anyway yeah, they covered so all aspects they wanted and yeah, we were all very impressed didn't well, we? thank you yeah. Yeah. congratulations yeah. 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 Um, so the date we're going to go with is the third yeah. and uh, we're going to meet at night good morning everyone hey. so we have a schedule for uh, next week's pitch uh, we're going to start, as always, a couple hours beforehand in our offices just to go through and finalise all the details and uh, 
then we'll head on over there. Um, thank you all for your input. Um, excellent ideas, as always. Congratulations, Leo. It's going with your. Thank you. So we've got the final image that we're going to go with. Uh, so this is going to be the concept. This is the pitch. Um, it's exactly what they're after. A strong bow line that's going to stand out. So uh, next week, we'll start off with the design, and we'll talk into the entire region, and then Leo, if you could take the lead. Yes, uh, good afternoon. My name is Brian. I sorted the job about the bricklayers, and I just wondered if... Oh, it's... Oh, it's gone. Okay, thank you. Hello? Hello? Asshole. Yes, uh, I'm leaving a message for Anthony in regards to the security job. Yes, uh, I'd very much like to be seen. And if there's any interviews coming, I'd love the opportunity to meet you, uh, I guess, uh, if that's still possible. My number is 077-020-60998. That'd be wonderful. Thank you. All right. Uh, hi there, uh, this is a message for uh, Brian uh, from Anthony at Black Knight Security. Yes, uh, I believe you, uh, you left me a message the other day and I just thought I'd get back to you. The uh, uh, reason I was calling is to just say I uh, would like to invite you in for an interview if you're still interested in becoming a part of the Black Knight family as a... Uh, as I like to call it. So, uh, yes, if you just want to give me a call back whenever you get a chance, uh, and it would be uh, lovely to uh, to uh, hear your voice in person, as it were. <laughs> okay, Brian, well, uh, I, I look forward to speaking to you. Take care now. Bye. He's just a kid. Just a child. But how often do you get to come to a place and they give you a tour of the pit crew? What is this called? These are, these are our briskets. These are our briskets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We do a Texas style brisket, so it's called salt and pepper. Nice. Um, these get smoked with uh, English oak. And these are actually American briskets. This is all USDA beef. Nice. US, USDA here in London. <laughs> Nat, 
good recipe. Oh, wow. Is this your recipe? This is Jared's. Oh. Everything else is a dumb man. I, I take care of the barbecue here. Yeah. Oh, nicely done, man. Wow. I'm kind of the, the cook in America, I guess. I'm the the restaurant. So. so it is done for lunch, right? Yeah, this will be available for lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lunch dinner, yeah. I think I know what I'm getting for lunch. I'm gonna get some grizzlies from Jerry. <laughs> say big thank you to Mark and Jared but how often do you get to come to a place and they give you a tour of the pit crew how amazing is that I felt like I was a kid in a candy store and and the brisket that I had oh amazing that's my new catch word amazing but what we're gonna do is we're gonna look over the menu as always and as soon as we figure out because there's a lot on here I think I want to try the, the deep fried pickles love deep fried pickles we are going to try the original voodoo chicken wings. Haven't had hot wings in a while. I hope they're, I hope they're spicy. And I think I saw the, there's the Texas slice slow rope smoked brisket, but the taste of Rama, taste of Rama, that sounds good. Pit smoked barbecue chicken, dry rub, St. Louis pork ribs, Carolina pork, pulled pork, add te and add Texas brisket for another four pounds. Man, it's gonna be a feast today. So <laughs> here are the appetizers. We have, over here we have the fried pickles. And then over here we have the spicy hot wings. I told you I love hot wings. And then hush puppies. Now, I haven't had hush puppies in forever. Grandma Betty used to love making hush puppies and sometimes they had corn in them. So, we are going to uh, start with the fried pickles. Let's start with the fried pickles. I think these are Texas style, or just Southern, Southern style. Whatever they are, they're, they're really good. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah they, those, uh, those are good, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> are these really spicy? Not too bad, not really. Not, not, not too bad. Really. It goes a little bit and then and then it cools off. Out, yeah, they don't stay. All right, yeah, yeah. all right. So here we go. We're gonna go in for the we're gonna go in for the wings. You might just love eating on camera. Might as well just use my fingers. Wow. That's really good. So give me a few minutes. I'm going to dig in a little more. And once I'm done, then we'll come back with our main. All righty? See you in a bit. Taxi! Uh, someone wrote in and asked me who was Grandma Betty. Uh, just so you know, Grandma Betty was my mother. And... Grandma Betty really liked to eat. She liked to eat just like I love to eat. And so, one of the reasons why I love doing this show, or doing this, is because Chip reminds me of Grandma Betty, and it reminds me of all the fun times that she and I used to have together. I'm an only child, so, um, and she's been gone quite a while. So whenever I go to eat, it reminds me of her. And I think that's why I love to cook and eat, and eat with my little boys and my wife. Uh, because it's a special time for me. But I digress. So let's go ahead and get into this brisket. I think this is one of, another one of Jared's specialties. I know it is. All 
Alrighty, guys. So uh, that is it. I hope uh, the food is being packed up there, up now. There's no way I can eat all the food. But I want to say special thank yous. These are my special thank yous for this week. Uh, Jared, Mr. Mark, Marcel, Adrian, Seth, and everyone here at the Big Easy. Guys, we, we really had uh, a wonderful time today, and thank you for uh, such great hospitality, and uh, we will be back. So uh, until next week, we'll see you, uh, we'll see you then. Bye-bye now.
to see myself. Decision, decision, indecision. Nothing is up to me. I woke up one day with this body. Someone must have left it here too, many years ago. My real body is flawless and thin and graceful. He or she never came back to take it away. So it's every day of me and my body, and this one. But after all, it's not mine, it's a fire. So why should I slowly see everything with itself? And the stomach oh is burning. I feel so tired. The body is consuming itself. This stranger it's body is dragging flame. my own body downwards. I can't breathe. It's green and gray. And see, there are many choices for every it's tree. With long, sneaky, but not for my body. It's a poison. Do I have to keep you this one? Everything in this body, every element, fire, water, earth, air, all of a sudden, it's a hurricane, help us take thing that's crazy in the heart, confusing the mind, and then the anger. It's forgotten, it's regret from an unknown past, and pain and black, unbreakable, isolation, frustration, humiliation, only fear, and perception is lost. It's only flesh and bones before we found. Our body, in the meantime, is silent. And for so, it's beautiful. But sometimes, it's a stranger. Color surrounds me in nature. It's so beautiful. It belongs to me. Why am I so ugly? Yet, makeup appears. The body is innocent. My body is we are always the measure of the beauty it never the body. Me. It accepts me. And so, why is it every day the same story?